Welcome back to Refrain Chord. So we still have some skits with Ethel. So let's take a look at those. All right then. Let's study. Hmm. Hmm. She's mm. wiping. Ah, I got it. Arson. <laughs> like this, Karen. Let's see. Let me have a look. Hmm. Ah, this one is incorrect. I see. You figured out the previous problem, so you should be able to get this one too. Keep trying, Ethel. Studying sure is hard. If you give up now, it's game, set, match. Why a tennis? Whatever. Go well, on. game, set, match is a general term for, like, game over, essentially. What's with the long faces, you two? Allow me to give you likes the yeah, invisible. Yeah, this, yo. <laughs> yeah, like, seriously. What? Why, if it isn't Fleur and Al... Don't look at the red, AC. Were you studying by chance? It's gonna be on the test. Yes, Karen's been tutoring me, but it's hard. Oh, okay, so that's how she's able to function better here. Perhaps all of you have influenced Ethel. She says she wants to go to school now. I've been trying to teach her the basics, but unfortunately it... It hasn't been going as smoothly as I'd hoped. I guess she's still trying. May I take a look at your notes? Sure. Oh, I see, I see. You solved quite a few math problems. Pretty impressive. Unfortunately, you cannot pass this air until you reach 70 quota, so... As for this, for this last problem, you were terribly close. Your calculations are wrong, Hector Pascal. You have everything right up to the halfway point. Your method of solving isn't wrong. You just got... sorry. That's okay. Ah, yeah. oh, I see. I think you're on the right track, Ethel. Very impressive stuff. Ah. Wow, genuine constructive criticism. You know, like a professor should give. I'm almost there. I've just got to keep trying. Great! That's the spirit! Riding free. <laughs> if I give up, it's game, set, match. That's what Karen taught me. In other words, it's not over as long as you don't give up. Those are good words to remember. As told by the protagonist of Blue Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like I came up with them, but you know, a monster's a monster. Okay, one more problem to go. Evil's Mark is making very steady progress, isn't she, Kari? Yeah. She still makes mistakes sometimes, but studying is all about effort over time. Don't worry if results don't come right away. So <laughs> this. Indeed. The more she learns, the more she'll enjoy her studies. But don't forget to give her positive reinforcement. That's the trick. Especially when the exams go. <laughs> positive reinforcement? Oh, maybe I haven't been complimenting her progress enough. I'll think about it. Thank you, Al. I feel as though the scales have fallen from my eyes. I don't know. I think she was doing fine so far. <laughs> That's very good to hear. Keep up the good work. Well then, we'll be off. I'm just... Oh, oh sure. I, I was just here to look pretty. Al really is a wonderful man. All done. Look, Al. Sorry, he's already gone. Huh? Where'd he go? Uh, he just left. Oh. I'll have to show him next time. Boy, the group really has grown attached to Al. He's like the group dad. Huh? Ethel, you solved the problem, right? Sure. Let here. me see. Mm, let's see. Mm, correct! Amazing, Ethel! Amazing? Yay. <laughs> 
all your hard work and studying paid off. You did a great job. <laughs> You're complimenting me. That makes me so happy. Aww. Well, when you're happy, I'm happy. If this is what it takes, you'll be hearing a lot more compliments from me. Then I'll keep trying my best. Will you keep looking over my work? No. Of course I will. We'll do this together. Because we're fairy fans or heroes. Yeah. And we're together. all in this together. Please stop we singing. Know. <laughs> Bob, Goodbye, and now it's time for Bob's cooking lesson. <laughs> okay, so basically Ethel getting tutoring and stuff. Sure, I'm fine with this. That was, this, oh, no. that, that, this was already kind of a thing in Evan Dark Force as well, anyway. So, um, she's getting hungry. Basically, the, the good smells are coming from over here. Ah, Bob's is making sweets. Oh, you guys again? You guys? I already gave cookie to the other gremlins, so you know. <laughs> it really is just like last time. Oh, Ren's here. Yeah, I smelled something good. Males always draw a crowd. Can't get a moment to bake my pastries in peace. Yep. It's not our fault they smell so good. It's a compliment. Good point. Look, I'm flattered. But it'd be nice if you helped cook every once in a while instead of just eating. Fair point. Hey, don't trust Fang to get near close to the kitchen. We can oh help. God, we no. can help. Sounds like fun. I've never made pastries before. I want to try. Yep. Wait. I didn't really mean it. Then why did you say oh. it then? <laughs> like, I think boo. he was bluffing in a sense that he thought Trying they to would discourage shy away from them, work. Yeah. You really want to try that bad? Yeah. 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 Let, let us help. All right. All right. Fine. Still better than handling Harley. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> really? Really? Yes. Really? Yay! I'll do my best. Oof, around my mouth for one second and now I'm teaching kids cooking class. Well, what are we... like little chef. What are we gonna make? I mean, I'm in mean, all baking a pound cake, but that's already in the oven. Let's see. What could we make that's not too difficult? How about pudding? Oh, pudding. I'll eat that. Yes, you need it after you make it. Come on, let's get to it. Oi. Wait a minute. Did you guys wash your hands? That's incredibly essential. Hi. Yes, sir. Are you sure you didn't just put your hand on the water without using soap? Yes, sir. Okay then, crack an egg into this bowl. Oh crack, no. Crack, crack the egg thing. into the bowl. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, don't just crush it in your fist. That's how you get bigs of eggshells in your pudding. You're gonna need a new egg. Oh no. <laughs> oh, what's the worst that can Here, happen? Here, watch. Like this. See? I'm sorry, Bauhaus. You, you didn't animate to doing it, so I didn't see it. Could you please explain Talk verbally? Oh, yeah, I'll bake last one. <laughs> Wait, baked? Hmm? Do you guys smell something burning? Oh, oh no. Oh no. My cakes will burn! Hey, the camera's burning! Don't just stare at it! Do something! <laughs> Save the cake! You said to light it on fire and see what happens. Ethel, no! No, I told you to heat it up and keep an eye on it! I can't believe you! <sighs> Breath house. Tim her down. Yeah. These kids just don't have any common sense. It's as difficult as trying to get Harley to organize her closet. Huh? Did you say something bad about Harley? He has every right to. I cracked the egg, boss. What do I do next? <sighs> I guess they're learning cooking. I'm learning patience. The Lord's patience. Okay. Hey, the pudding's done. Hooray! 
Oh, it's all wiggly jiggly. Yes, it's finally done. Man, I'm way more exhausted than if I just made it myself. Can we eat it now? Yeah, yeah, go on. Enjoy the first pudding you have ever made. Woohoo! Mmm, mm, it's so good. <laughs> Take your word <laughs> Looks like it's a hit. Did it really turn out that good? It's super duper good. Everyone would be happy if we made this for them. I guess I can put pudding back on the menu, but I'm gonna need a couple of assistants to make enough for everybody. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, it's decided. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. Also, <laughs> if you want something <laughs> easy for them to cook, just do pasta. It's actually yeah. fairly but fairly Teo, level. But Teo, cooking pasta is so hard. Maybe I need the magic pasta pot to help me with that. <laughs> I mean, at, at, the very, at the very least, you're not doing like a lot of people in the UK and America and break down the spaghetti. <laughs> Seriously, I like at least a year you of my love. life can stream that's down the, every time it happens. That's still one of my favorite uh, of those infomercials. You love eating pasta, but cooking it is so hard. And she was like, uh, when we did that commercial, she, she was like, no, it isn't. <laughs> pasta was literally the first thing I ever learned how to cook. So, no, it's not that hard. Remember, Java, that's the basic formula of the infomercial. Create an artificial, you know, half people act unrealistically incompetent to create to artificially create a need that doesn't actually exist <laughs> so <laughs> it's so it's so easy my school my school doesn't even bother having it be the first thing they teach you to cook here you go oh, wow uh, all right so this is actually um a rehash of a, another skit that was in Advent dark force where uh fang uses a light from a uh, i think it's like uh, to have her Chase it like she was a cat or something. Yeah, this was also a thing in Advent Dark Force, for those who don't remember. I think mm. I did remember it. Fang, you imbecile. Also, I noticed the sound effect. Yeah. Wow, nice moves. I mean, we can animate those moves, but uh, yeah, nice moves. <laughs> Hang on. Pretend that she did ninja dodging. <laughs> I mean, okay, to give them the smallest amount of credit, like, at least they had her go side to side to side to side, which you do see some cats do, so... That, I'd say that one suffices. You know, it's funny though, we never really... Okay, we did mention this in the original Ambent Dark Force, but I don't think we complained about it nearly as much as we are in this game. So basically he's taking her fishing. Okay, enough of swim. Uh, I don't know, actually. I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> Yeah, why do I get the feeling we're on another episode? Suddenly, Aaron. Aaron. Suddenly, Aaron. Yeah, again, don't treat, the, don't treat that thing like an animal. Okay, okay, okay. When it comes to the whole thing with the light, yeah, that's the whole treat like an animal thing. But like. Uh, Going fishing? That's not really treating her like an animal, that's more so like, I mean, yeah, you got... Apparently, according to Ari, he's taking advantage of her so he can eat. I mean, I guess... He gods. Let me guess, the irony is that she's treating him like a pet. Yeah. I mean, uh, I guess I can say it. Uh, yeah, I guess I can say it. 
Also, where did the music went? Uh, you want some trumpet theme too? <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Well, remember, one of my favorite moments from the first run is the point where the music stops and Joe was like, wait, where did the music go? And and the, the, the trumpet theme immediately starts playing after Jova says that, and Tia turns to Jova and he goes, and I quote, Jova, shut your trap. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, if she likes it, I guess it's okay. Ask permission to carry. No. I think that's the best compromise. I guess, like Ethel. <laughs> I don't know, FL16, she's old enough to make her own decisions. Sorry, Dwebs, uh, on our budget we can only animate this as her changing the light, so... Which I looks mean, like she oh. was glitching out. <laughs> but okay, but okay, like I mentioned, I'm not sure what was different about Avent Dark for us, but... It didn't warrant us making as much fun about the lack of sprite motions as much as I can't put there. Is, I can't put there, Jova. Well, I can't. I can't speak for the for you guys, Jova, but I know exactly why that's the case for me, actually, because I still think the over for as even though technically Avant Dog Forces writing is worse, I still had enjoyed uh, that game more because it felt like things were happening more in the plot of that game. If, yes, there were terrible things happening, terribly written, and we've talked about it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, obviously. But at least it always felt like something was happening, you know? Whereas in comparison with this game, oh no, TR is the, the center of the Val God, and nothing happens, and nothing, nothing comes of it. It's, it's, it's not like, it's like this plot, but you, you might as well not even bring it up if, if you're not going to do anything with it. To me, it's one of those things where it's just like, at least do something with these things. Do something. Like, uh, the plot just is just kind of walking, 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 but it's not doing anything. And, uh, at the very least, I... in the Advent Dark Force, there were twists. There were twists and turns. Things happened. I will say, up until Glass does her thing against Bernard, even though I don't have too much troubles, I will agree it does feel like a bit of the ploy is basically kind of like, hey, what if Fairy Fence Rush regular route went like this, but we inserted these new characters? Now granted, as has been hinted, there will be more of a divergence later, but... I can see why one would feel like the plot is kind of spinning its wheels a bit at this point. I'm personally fine with it, however... However, one, I've already played Evan Dark Force, so part of me is running with the mentality of, okay, I know what happened already at this point. But as its own standalone game, I don't want to say it's bad, but it does feel. Oh, weird it's not. In a sense. It's just mediocre. It's just a big ball of mediocrity. It's just like. Uh, it doesn't stand out in any majorly bad way, but it also doesn't stand out in any majorly good way either. It's just this game that's just a kind of okay, and then you're just kind of going along with it, you know, like... The it's like I said, the problem is that it... It's not actually incomplete, but it feels incomplete because, you know... It more or less is taking bits from Advent Dark Force, but not the full background like and granted again by nature it is made to be like that because the idea is you already know how advent dark force works it's just that it does feel like again there's less foundation now again i believe that stuff will build up later when we get to i guess the point where things get serious yeah, so with that when, we get, when we get into chapters 20 and onwards things finally start picking up uh, but then, the game loves to take its sweet time getting there. What do you think, Dwibs and Tio? Um, honestly, I, I, mean, I mean, yeah, there are a few uncomfy moments in this game, but honestly, I'd rather take um, something like this as opposed to, as opposed to Advent Dark Force, where I felt unclean at the end. 
Oh yeah. Mo mostly like that, and also the fact that the characters so far have not been dying, at least from the main party. I think it's more of a case where the bar is being set so low that even something like this feels a, at least a, some kind of elevation that's enough yeah. to me. Sure, for me it's just like, I'd rather be offended than be bored. Because at least when I'm offended, I'm actually feeling something. And for me overall, I'm fine with it, but I will admit, I am waiting for the story to start to Also, fix, so. I'm not sure Jova this really over, and Pedro this really overall answered the initial question as is, as in why do at least the rest of you, because it's not really happening that much to me compared to what I did also for the first game, noticing the lack of animation and detail over the, in, uh, in the cutscene and the characters. Uh. Well, the reason for that, well, well, I, I can't I speak for Jova. At some points, my only thing is like, is like, I feel like we didn't poke as much fun at it as yeah. much back as we did with this game. Like, I will argue we it's about... Did do that. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Granted, it's been a while since we commented on it, so who knows? Maybe I'm forgetting that we did spend a lot of parts raking fun at it. I guess... I will argue so far. For me, it's one of those things. It's a, it's a combination... It's, com it's a combination of two things, in my opinion, Jova. One, like I said, the plot... Uh, doesn't have that much distract as much distractions. Even if they were bad distractions, uh, the, the Avatar Force had more distractions uh, from that. Second, the fact that the prison and I will die on this hill. The presentation in this game is actually worse than Avatar Force, which makes it more noticeable. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's the, and that's the main reason because the presentation in this game. Remember, this game has so little gameplay time that most of this game is just cutscenes. As a result, they're the focus. And as a result, it's much easier for us to, well, focus on those aspects, you know? Like, um, again, one thing that we do know for fact is that this is arguably the cheapest Compo Heart or Idea Factory game there is. Just on the stance alone that this is the only one that doesn't have a proper English dub, essentially, like... All other games, yeah. uh, uh, except for that one other one, but that's like a much smaller Two. like, well, this is like um, the only main game of theirs to not have a dub. Yeah, Neptunia Virtual Stars and the uh, Neptunia Kagura crossover uh, don't have English, but the second Kagura games never have English dubs to begin with anyway, so I'm guessing they just operated on that yeah. logic. Uh, and Virtual yeah. Stars didn't get a dub problem. because it's VTubers and they didn't want to dub the VTubers, basically. Yeah, like, you know, I mean, so those had special cases, but this is, like, the only game that doesn't have a special case that doesn't have a dub, and, like, again, that alone would make it probably the cheapest dubbies. I'll have yeah, to adjusting for inflation. One of these days, I sh I'll, I'll probably look into Hyper Devotion Noir, which remember that's the the Neptunia spin out that this team made before they made this, because it's gameplay wise, it's the same game as this. Uh, but if I remember correctly, it has an English dub, so at the very least, there's that, because you know they Neptunia is their star franchise. So, but uh, from a gameplay perspective, if I remember correctly, if I, from what I've little I've looked into, I haven't taken a look too deep, but from what I've looked into, it's basically the same as this game, just battles and nothing else there's no dungeons um mm. but here's the thing this i'll put it this way and yes to be fair to refrain court refrain court is not being sold to you as a mainline therapy and Seraph game it's been to sold to you as a spin-off technically well it's still sold at 60 bucks like you said oh yeah well, well that's a thing they do that with all of the uh, all of their spin-offs even the neptunia spin-offs like but but i think that's one of the key components i think this was released uh, for like 25, 25, 30 bucks, I think it will be much more manageable. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Like, trust me too. And I will, I will agree with that. Like, if this game was released at 30 bucks, I would be much more forgiving on the presentation. But again, it wasn't. So it really is one of those yeah. cases where it's just like, uh, and even then, like I've seen games that take this approach to their presentation and do it better. So even on those standards, I've seen RPG developers do better than this. Uh, any developers in general um, make again overall the the classic uh, Iron Man meme edit uh, of uh, you know the guy saying Toby Fox did this with five thousand dollar with a box <laughs> of crabs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'm not really Toby puts... Fox. <laughs> <laughs> it really puts things into perspective. That yes, a budget is nice, but. Keep in mind, for whatever money is given, you have to manage it mm -hmm. well. Me and Joe had a similar debate when we were talking about 
the first Pokemon movie versus the second Pokemon movie. Whereas, and I mentioned this point to Jova, and he even uh, agreed with me on this, that the second movie is technically less flawed, but the first movie has way more interesting plot elements. <laughs> you know? Uh, yes, the first movie is technically more flawed, especially because of the stupid moral at the end, but at least it's far more entertaining because Mewtwo is a genuinely compelling character. Lugia is not really a compelling character whatsoever, even though he's the Pokemon that's being used to sell the ge the movie to you on the cover, you know? The, remember, even the, the Japanese title for that movie is called Something Something Lugia. I forgot what it was, but it has even has Lugia in the title, even though Lugia only shows up in the last 20 minutes or so. So... <laughs> Uh, and then see you for the next see part, everybody. Next part. See ya. See ya. Ta-da.